So one of the problems we're running into right now is we're here at Copart ready to drop and there is absolutely no room here to drop it. They got everything so tightly packed in here. So they're gonna try to move some stuff around but we'll see if that does the trick. But we need, you know, 70 feet for our land all and then we need all that additional room to pull out from under it and we need room to set up the rotator. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Someone there had a pretty bad day tow truck here at the junkyard. Pretty interesting how they move the cars around with those big 938M loaders with these giant forks. Look at the size of those. We might be picking up a car here, let's see. Yep, look at that. Picks it up like a toy. Pretty neat. Right between the tires, picks it up and moves it where he wants it. Pretty neat. All right, RV number one's unloaded. Now we gotta do RV number two. got that offloaded so now we're gonna head back to the yard and see what that has in store for us so we'll see you there it, we are here um, doing a little bit of cleanup work around the yard we got this trailer that was brought to our yard uh, last night and uh, we're gonna tow it into LA area today it's got a seized up wheel bearing or something wrong with the wheel bearing so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we already hooked it up to our truck and we're gonna put this all up on the landall and tow it off to LA. I'm not personally doing this tow but we're gonna just kind of show you guys what we do there and then uh, we'll show you a few other things that we brought into the yard today. So first things first we need to verify the height. Um, we need to be under 14 foot. Our decks on the uh, Landalls are about three foot. Uh, on the Kenworth, it's like three foot two inches. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the height here on the ground just to verify that we are under uh, 11 feet. That would give us under 14 feet on the Landall. So we'll go ahead and check that out. <laughs> 